In my previous video, I finished my bathroom, something I have been working on for a really long time. I gotta say it feels like quite the luxury to be able to have a shower after a long day of work and also having an indoor toilet. Now there is very little left to do downstairs and once I'm done, I'm gonna continue upstairs. Not that I'm longing to put up plasterboards. It's kind of like the boss of a video game or something, but that's the latest story. In this video, I really start to make myself at home. And I also find out that someone else has moved in. Probably a rat. I'm getting the electricity installed today, uh, so oh, very soon I can remove a lot of extension cords that I've got running around. And I will also get the spotlights in the bathroom working, so I don't have to have this lamp running. Just putting the sockets in place and I've also found these uh, used so it is a little bit of a mismatch around the house but I don't really have that many electrical outlets so I feel like it doesn't really matter.
I got this uh, wood uh, a few months ago from a local sawmill and it's been uh, drying. It's nothing special at all. Uh, it's not even very good quality wood, but it's local. And um, I like that, so I'm going to use that for my tress holds. Uh, it was also quite hard to find this width of wood in, um, in a regular shop. So uh, yeah, I'm going to sand it down and uh, see if we can make... Yeah, if I can make it look somewhat good. It also barely didn't cost anything, so I'm quite happy about it. Yeah, the electricity went. All right, just checked in the basement and uh, there was just too small of a fuse in the electrical cabinet, so that's why the electricity went. Made me a bit nervous because it's the new electricity, but um, yeah, makes sense. Not being able to use a big miter saw um, on a super small fuse. So, continuing with some trims for the bathroom door. As you can see, I got a pretty uneven uh, result when uh, with the spray painting. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so. I've decided I'm going to try and sandblaster it. Um, I did get uh, recommendations in the comments on the last video uh, to use etch cream, uh, but I haven't been able to get a hold of etch cream, otherwise that sounded like a really great idea. Um, but it's sold out in every shop that I've um, had a look at. So I think sandblastering could maybe work. And I do know someone uh, that has like a blastering um, cabinet. So I'm going off today to do that, and uh, I guess that's kind of the final tryout, because once blastered, you can't actually get it back to what it used to be. First I'm going to finish these, and then I'm going to head out. Probably time for a new ruler. I've been getting some questions about how I know how to do things, if I'm a builder, if I'm a designer, and I'm neither of those things, uh, but I picked up some knowledge here and there. I actually worked at this place for a little bit. It's my brother-in-law's business. Even if they're building machinery, it really did teach me quite a bit. Otherwise, I look things up on Google, on YouTube. I ask knowledgeable people whenever I get the chance. And just working in the house has taught me a lot as well, because I can see how things have been done in the past and then I can do, do it the same way or make an improved version, which is some kind of reverse engineering, I guess.
really happy with how it turned out. I'm glad I went the extra mile to uh, redo it. I went a little too crazy. On the tape. Of course, it needs a charge. Both of them. So, yeah. Oish. yeah. Maybe that's it for today. Yeah. starting to get a little bit annoyed by the fact that I probably have a big rat or a mouse living uh, under my house. I woke up several times one night uh, when it was like going off down there and like I could hear it all the way upstairs like that's what I that's what I woke up from so mm, it sounds like a big bugger. I don't really like killing things um, but I also don't see that I can have something living under there that might eat on my electrical cables <laughs> or my new water pipes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. All right, fully charged batteries. Uh, take two of attachment. Yes. Door handle. Oh. I have to drill through the metal cassette that's in there. Yeah, that's why it takes some time. Things are always a little bit more complicated than what you think, but it's so nice to come up with the solutions. Nay. There was a little masonite thingy around here and when I drilled it kind of popped out so I think I'm gonna have to remove the whole thing um, and plaster it again I can't do any more uh, with the door now because um, the plaster has to dry. So I thought I would do a little, well, a combined mission. Basically, I'm gonna go down into the foundation um, to see if I can see any traces of mice or rats. And at the same time, I'm also gonna fix something that I haven't cared so much about before. Uh, but uh, now that I have something living under there, I don't want this massive passage up into the house. I'm gonna show you. It's just a big hole uh, and it goes straight down into the ground. So I'm gonna try and cover that up and um, fill it with insulation as I did with um, the other tress holes. So. Yeah, that should be exciting.
so many places where a mouse can live. Cool. There's definitely something living under there. There's a bunch of holes where it's probably dug and tunnels. Uh, it had pulled down some of the insulation. And yeah, that's where I saw like all the poo and whatever. So now I cleaned that out. Cleaned out some other trash that was under there. But um, yeah. Attaching the doorknob, part three. Well, actually, uh, it's more painting where it's gonna sit before I can do any of that. But still. Do I have something in my face? Yes, I always do, don't I?
I'm really happy to have tidied up downstairs. It actually feels like a bit of a livable area now. So um, yeah, super happy about that. And the next step and what I will be working on in my coming videos uh, will be the attic. And what I've got to do is to put up these plasterboards. I've done that in some of my previous videos and it's been a major hassle. I've chosen a fiber plasterboard and they are really heavy. They're 25 kilos each and it's really difficult to get it up into this like slanted uh, ceiling. So if you have any recommendations whatsoever on how I can make this easier, please let me know in the comments. Um, I have a lift, uh, but it doesn't really reach like all the way up. And uh, yeah, it's just heavy getting the boards up in the lift and then holding it in place, kind of pushing the insulation in to be, or to be able to attach it. So yeah. Um, I don't know. My best bet is just getting two really strong friends over and uh, just try and get it done. But either way, getting a bedroom up here, a small study, uh, some more storage is going to be fantastic. So I'm also hoping to redo the floor. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a hold of floorboards. It's going to be really fun to start off this chapter of my journey. So quite excited for the new year and uh, yeah, we'll see you then.